Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about using Download Station on a QNAP NAS. And I've done a number of other videos on this NAS. I'll put a link in the description of my playlist. And I'll also put a link to the equipment I'm using. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So to install the Download Station, we want to go to the App Center. I'll click on the little magnifying glass and I'll just type Download. And you'll see Download Station here. I'll click on it. And we'll click Install. Okay, it's downloaded and installed. I'll click open, then I'll close the programs window. Now it has the terms we can agree or not agree to. I'll agree to those. And here we have the download station interface. So we have some icons here. We have the, uh, this is the view by, this is the input URL or torrent file. So start all, pause all, pause all for a while, remove all completed tasks and remove all completed tasks and delete data. We have a start, pause, stop, remove, and summary. So I want to download a file here. So I want to go to input URL and I want to download an Ubuntu um, ISO, which is like a CD-ROM file. So if I Google search for Ubuntu 18.04, I'll click the top link and there's a download link over here. I can click on it And it pops up a message that says, do you want to allow downloads? I'm just going to click cancel here. It says here now your download should start automatically. If it doesn't, download now. If I hover over this at the bottom, you can see it has the URL to the ISO itself. So you need to get the um, URL, and it can be different on different sites. Um, but usually you can tell what it is. It's um, We'll have a name and then an extension after it. So I'm going to right click on this and say copy link. Then I'll go back into the download station and I'll paste that into here and it says one entry per line so you could download multiple ISOs with this at the same time so the reason you might want this is if you have a desktop computer and you don't have a lot of space on it or say you're going to download it on your desktop and you're going to upload it to the server anyway if you download it to using download station it kind of cuts out the middleman and frees up your computer to do other things so I have that in there I'll hit next it says location of temporary files so I could put this anywhere, I'm just going to use public. Move the completed downloads to public. And then you have user credentials if it needs credentials, like if it was an FTP site. I'll click apply. And here you see the file, it's going to start downloading here. So you see 1% here. So this works with RSS feeds, it works with BitTorrent, uh, FTP, let's see, it. I think it's showed here. Uh, so we have HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, FTPS, uh, QQDL, I'm not sure what that one is, Thunder, FlashGet, Magnet, uh, works with a lot of different formats. So you don't need to keep Download Station up. If I close out of this, it will continue to download. If I open Download Station up again, you can see it's progressing even with it closed. So these ISOs can be pretty slow to download, so I'm going to end the video here. If you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.